Good morning to everyone. Hello world. Hello internet. Hi, hello. My name is CJ and I am back again with another narrated art time lapse video for us to watch and learn a thing or two from, of course, of course. So yeah, today we are doing a um, speed paint. Uh, man, I just missed that little card that says how long this was. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I think this was done uh, in a three hour time span, three hour speed paint, if I'm not wrong. Um, so yeah, this was originally done for the creative Facebook group. Um, there was a prompt, there was a weekly prompt challenge, uh, back in the day, I'd say about a year or two. Um, it was there before, uh, the creative artist forum started, um, but yeah, it, it was a fun little prompt, weekly prompts, you know, we, we learned a thing or two. We learned a thing or two. Uh, it, it's a good challenge to exercise our artistic muscles, you know, and of course, exercising our artistic muscles um, will make us learn a thing or two about art, so. Um, but anyways, yeah, it, it was weekly prompts and prompts in general are just great challenges. So anyways, <laughs> my point was that the prompt for that particular week was called wings um and instantly in my head i knew that i wanted to do a fighter jet um which is basically what we're looking at right now me sketching out this fighter jet um Okay, so sorry about that. I was slightly distracted with something in the internet. Um, I was trying to look up a reference online for this particular uh, bomber jet that I knew existed back in the 80s. Uh, for the life of me, I can't remember what that bomber was. Um, it's a particular airplane shape, which I kind of use as inspiration. When I started this prompt, I didn't really look at references. I kind of just went off, you know, on my own little tangent, in all honesty, and just kind of just started doing this sketch just out, out, off the top of my head. And so, yeah. But there's this particular bomber, uh, and I can't find it right now. I'm looking through my Google, trying to search for it. Um... Wow, I, I wonder what that name of that plane was. Because I was going to say it was a B-2 bomber, but then I realized the B-2 bomber is the new bomber. Um, so yeah, it's not exactly the one I was looking for. Man, I used to know my planes like inside and out <laughs> when I was really young. Um... So anyways, when I was really I was really into jets and making jets and whatnot, can't help it because Top Gun came out when I was young. That was in the, back in the 80s. Yes, I am that old. <laughs> and yeah, ever since that movie, it's all about jets, jets, jets. So gotta go fast, right? <laughs> so, but anyways, um, so the weekly prompt for that week was wings and i knew that i wanted to do a jet um instead of anything else i mean i could have gone with something nature based like an insect or a bird or uh something to that effect but obviously i decided to go with something mechanical uh just to kind of go with my love of airplanes and whatnot and so yeah that's kind of what i'm doing right now um when I did the sketch, like I was saying, I kind of had this image of a particular plane that I could not for the life of me know what it was. I knew it was a bomber plane. Oh, maybe it's, no, B-17 is a World War II bomber if I'm not wrong. Let me look at B-17 and see if that's the bomber I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's a World War II bomber. And it's not the B-52, because that's a bigger bomber. 
Oh man, that's gonna drive me crazy <laughs> for the rest of this video. What is that plane? Okay, I'm gonna let that go. But anyway, it's like I was saying, it was a bomber plane that I had in mind. Uh, it almost kind of looked like the new B1 bomber uh, that's coming out. Um, if I'm not wrong, I mean like the particular shape of the B1 bomber. Um, kind of has a similar shape of the plane that I was talking about. Um, so anyways, when I first started sketching it out, I kind of had that in mind. Um, and so yeah, it, this jet is basically just off the top of my head. Um, there's some aspects of it that is just very, very unique. Um, like one of them is obviously it's way too big for a jet fighter. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's way too big because there's really no rule for how big a jet fighter should be. But as you can tell, it is definitely bigger than say an F-14. Um, judging from the character that I sketched in, you know, it is obviously way taller and way bigger. Uh, the air intake is kind of drawn like the F-16. It is at the bottom of the cockpit. And yeah, I mean, basically it's a very unique plane that I just kind of came up with and just randomly off the top of my head. And probably the most unique feature of this particular jet is the forward swept wings that I put in front of the cockpit. Really, I don't know much about aerodynamics and I don't know much about jet engineering and airplane engineering, but I could tell you right now that kind of looks really suspect. Um, I mean, it just doesn't seem to serve like an aviation function, <laughs> but I could tell you right now it's very unique. So I just had to add that in there because, you know, why not? There's some universe out there in this multiverse where that particular plane does exist and it flies very, very well. I can guarantee you. So, yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, just right off the top of my head, I was just started sketching with no idea in my head as to exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted to have fun, you know. Um, very rarely do I do this because typically my very first instinct nowadays when they get a prompt is to look up Google Images uh, real quick and spend like five, ten minutes just browsing through images just to get an inspiration. Um, and most of the time, I get my inspiration from that way on what to draw. Uh, half the time, I don't, in which case, I would just start out with a blank canvas in my head, uh, which is what the, what the case of this was, you know. And I think that's the reason why, you know, I I've been really obsessed with composition and, like, full scene layout and whatnot. But you can tell in this particular speed paint, I didn't even really worry about that because... I just wanted to focus on the jet itself initially and that's how I ended up just focusing in on the jet and totally cutting out the wings part of the jet which is ironically enough the important aspect of the prompt but I do love the implicit nature of the speed paint because even if the wings aren't you know fully shown in the particular painting it's very much indicated that there are wings there because hey it's a fighter jet <laughs> so yeah um but yeah um moments like those are very rare you know where you where you don't have an idea what to do and you just kind of set out to sketch something and Lo and behold, you kind of see this image in your head that has like huge potential for a good composition, in which case this is what basically happened with this particular painting, where I was just like, I'm just going to sketch a jet, a vehicle, blah, blah, blah. And then after sketching it out, I was just like, oh, I see a composition forming in my head of this lady, you know, right underneath, you know, the cockpit smoking a cigarette, you know, and at first... I kind of had the thought that maybe it was going to be a uh, a ground crew of some sort. And I was just like, no, we could just make her the actual pilot or something. So, 
there you go that's how this particular artwork just evolved from a no idea to a random idea to a full-blown composition there we go Woo! nice nicely done um, but yeah now that I've talked in length about how all of this came about I guess now it's a great time for me to talk about what was going on in our video in Krita. So everything first started out with a sketch, just as I had mentioned, no clue as to what it was gonna be. It was just like, oh yeah, let's just draw a random jet. And then as soon as I had the jet down, I was like, okay, that's cool. Let's draw the rest of the composition. Great, that's what I did. And then after that, I laid down some colors, some color blocking. Um, I was really trying to denote where the shadow area is and where the light area is because this really helps me a lot in composition. Um, and as you can see, like uh, it makes things look really good, especially like the shadows on on the plane, like underneath the plane. Like I'm working on the ground right now, and obviously I'm adding whoa, <laughs> way too bright color dodge in that one, which obviously I just deleted, as you can tell. But um, yeah, the, the shadows that was cast by the plane is looking really nice because um, I don't know, I just, I like the way that it's drawn in. And it wouldn't have been, you know, it wouldn't have ended up that way if I didn't do what I did initially where I kind of blocked out where all the light areas are going to be and where all the shadows are going to be and that includes form shadow and cast shadow so that's pretty much what I did uh, initially when I used to do this I would just stick with two colors you know one light one dark um, but obviously in this particular painting I use multiple lights and multiple darks like uh, I did one for the ground and then I did one for the plane and I think I did one for the sky um, so yeah that was kind of like a unique situation because I typically don't do do it that way but as soon as I have all those uh, basic color shapes of light and dark then I bring in my favorite random mech brush set with a hue variation just put down some quick colors um really just some random noise this crazy way of coloring but um i pretty much like it the way it is just because doing this random way of coloring again as i mentioned in my channel just introduces variation that i would never ever consciously think about so it's always like a good thing but the most important thing after doing the random coloring portion is the smudge option which i'm in the middle of if i'm not wrong um i'm not sure why uh the screen is paused i think i might have just stepped out for a bit uh hmm Okay, that was a very long pause. What was going on there, bro? Okay, something to do with the music. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So random. <laughs> okay, now that we're back in our little video. <laughs> like, what was going on there? Um. Okay, so the smudging option actually just got done. I thought I was going to smudge some more. But... As soon as I basically do the coloring portion, the crazy coloring portion, I merge my sketch, my crazy colors. Um, oh, before I'm merging, I also did a few more edits, like adding some color dodges in some areas where I wanted it to be a little bit brighter. Um, but as soon as I'm like happy with like the overall uh, tone and look of the painting, then I would merge them all in one layer. And then I would do the smudge. And when I do the smudge, I try to smudge it in all recognizable shapes. That's really the main thing is that the shape of whatever object I'm going to be painting is preserved. 
Um, in the case of this painting, you can see the sh shape of the plane is fully preserved, as well as the shape of the pilot, female pilot, is fully preserved. Um, so yeah, um, that's the whole thing with the smudging is that I, I try to make sure that it's fully preserved and whatnot. But it really just blends all the soupy color that I mess, that I mess, that I made. Um, so yeah, it all just kind of just blends them into just this one cohesive sort of, you know, nice color blended thing. <laughs> and as soon as I have this color blended thing, I basically end up using this as a base paint to draw my painting on, you know. Um, Except for now, I'm still doing a few more color dodge edits, it looks like. I'm still brightening some spots. Ooh, that's too bright. Turn it down a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing a few more color dodges, getting a little bit more brighter spots on this fighter jet. Um, but yeah, uh, my whole point of this munching is... You know, I get to a point where I could get this base paint that I could work on. And as soon as I have this base paint, that's when I literally start doing my detailing. And my detailing process is pretty much straightforward. Uh, it's the same all the way throughout, like parts of the image. And basically what I do is this three-step process that I do, uh, that I rinse and repeat throughout parts of the painting. And what it is, what the steps are is I delineate my edges, which is, you know, kind of what I'm doing right now when I'm drawing all these panel lines. You know, I kind of indicate, hey, look, there's panels there. Um, not only do I um, do extra sketches such as this one, I also like make my edges sharper just so that the shapes will be clearer and not so fuzzy. Because that's the thing with the blender brush is that it will make things fuzzy. So I delineate my edges and then I accentuate my shadows and my shadows need a little bit of darkening or some fixing, I fix it. And then after that, I add highlights. So it's a three step process that I rinse repeat throughout parts of the painting. Obviously I've started with the jet first with the detailing process. Um, I actually started with the background initially and added the sky. As you can tell, I just grab a random sky from, um, a photo that I got from photobash.org. Great resource site. Go check it out. Um, yeah, and now that the background is done, obviously I'm like working in a jet and lo and behold, just, you know, parts by parts, um, I start delineating my edges. This is really odd because typically um, I'm very good at having like my light section and my dark section, but obviously in this particular case, I went too dark on the tires of the plane on the wheels of the plane so obviously i'm trying to mark out all those areas where the wheels are and i think eventually in the end i'm just going to go back and color dodge it some more just so that'd be brighter but yeah go watch me as i slowly detail this plane
so for the most part uh, the plane is pretty much close to being finished uh, with the whole detailing process um, I basically am just uh, working on a few more things such as uh, the wheels of the plane uh, obviously which is what I'm doing right now I'm working on it uh, kind of cleaning my edges see those sharp highlights that I just added kind of just made a notation that hey look this is where uh, the landing gear is so and obviously I'm just making things sharper just so that it reads a little bit better um, yeah all of this is done loose of course because this is a speed paint and I knew that I wanted to do a speed paint so I just wanted to keep everything loose um, so long as it looks good uh, from afar then it's all functional art wise um, the only edit that I ever really did on the plane after this particular video um, the edits I didn't obviously get to record um, one of the things that I kind of realized was a mistake was the right landing gear. I feel that it was too close to the middle where it, compared to the one on the right. So I basically moved that landing gear a little bit more to where it needed to be, which is farther left or farther right in this case because um, this, plane, this image is actually flipped since I always um, do this when I'm drawing where I flip the image just to kind of help me re you know look at my composition in a totally different way um, and now I'm doing a quick sketch of the female um, just to kind of figure out where this female is and then I'm doing a much sharper line sketch which is what I'm doing right now I'm gonna quickly color this I'm gonna smudge it and then of course I'm gonna detail it which is my typical process so but yeah before this video ends I guess I could talk real quick about some of the things that I kind of noted while I was watching this um, some of my own critiques that kind of flew through my head of course uh, there's always things to improve upon and whatnot so uh, first thing that I really want to make note of is that I still love the composition <laughs> I'm sorry I really do I, I think the composition is very very nice um, so I have one thing going good for me is the composition uh, the colors I love I love the colors very very Henry Matisse although I could honestly say I could honestly I could honestly say or see that some people would actually be critical of the colors because a pink jets don't really exist in real life um and then two painted jets in general don't are not uh, are not the norm basically most fighter jets are just polished metal they're not painted um so obviously my my jet is painted pink so that's um a little oddity so I could see people like questioning that and going you why but I love it I don't care <laughs> I think it's very very cool to look at especially since the shadows of the pink jet are green which is a nice contrast sorry I just have to say I just think it's a nice contrast so yeah that's uh my take on that <laughs> and the only other thing that I could think of in terms of like the painting was uh or in term in terms of the jets paint is decals a lot of jets and fighter jets have decals on it and uh, typically the name of the pilot that flies that particular plane will um be on the plane somewhere and then of course you know the the pilot's team or squadron or whatever that group mate is called um of course they'll have their own uh, decal somewhere on the plane but obviously I left my plane very very plain <laughs> my plane very very plain wow okay that was cheesy um, but yeah I didn't add a whole lot of um, varnish and well I didn't add more decals when I feel like I could have was what I was trying to say um, metal is the other thing that I kind of 
make made a note up metal is just very hard to paint so in defense of me and my artistic skills metal is just so difficult especially in a speed paint for me to like pull off like a metallic look of sort i think it's very very nice that i pulled it off <laughs> um but on the same token it is difficult to paint i feel like i could have done a little bit more just to make that jet look more metallic you know um but yeah and so yeah i mean those are the only things that i could just make a notation of that i could have improved but of course since it's a speed paint and the essence of the speed paint is to get your artwork down as done as quickly as possible with the most um important aspects of painting like laid out i think it did it great like i said um I'm very critical of a lot of my speed paints. A lot of them, like you, let's throw it in the trash and burn it. Um, but this one, I really did. I thought this came out very, very nicely. So yeah, uh, I like this nice little touch. Um, smoking is so out of fashion in America now. I don't know why that is. Um, I just saw a movie not so long ago, Black Hawk Down. <laughs> There's this one scene in Black Hawk Down where there this guy um was smoking and was trying to offer a cigarette to an american an american turned it down and he was just like oh yeah you americans don't smoke anymore <laughs> which i thought was just a really funny line um and yeah i mean of course smoking is bad for your health so but uh, people still do it because yeah people still do it anyways um to see female smoke is very rare to see a female jet fighter smoking is very rare so i thought it was a nice little touch because it kind of adds credence to her character you know so and plus drawing smoke is cool okay <laughs> i mean cigarettes might not be cool but drawing smoke is cool so yeah it's very tricky i thought i did the smoke very nicely here so yeah but Anyways, going back to the drawing and just the conversations of painting and whatnot, I'm, I'm happy with the result of the speed paint. It was done fast, it was done well. Uh, I love the colors. The colors are crazy everywhere. Pink jet, pink plane with green shadows. You know, like who would have thought that, that would have worked, but somehow it did work, you know? Um, so yeah. I am totally satisfied with this particular piece. And I see that I'm having trouble with the hands. Hands are just so tricky to paint. Oh, she's smoking a cigar. I thought it was a cigarette. <laughs> okay. I totally forgot this part. Look at her being smug while smoking. She's like, oh, mission success, blah, 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 on the smoke. See, I'm telling you, <laughs> it has character. <laughs> oh, yeah, me and my very cheesy jokes. I'm so sorry I had to subject you guys to that. <laughs> but yeah, check this out. This is almost done. There's that fighter jet lady with her fighter jet plane. Is being all cool looking and whatnot. So, yeah. And I'm saving the document and doing a few more minor edits, and that's it. It's done. Thank you guys for watching this with me. I hope you learned a thing or two. Like and subscribe. Quit smoking because it's bad for your health. Good night. Mm -hmm.